Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Created a lot of content for MSPs and today I'm going to be showing you how to enroll iOS devices into Microsoft Intune using the new user enrollment method. So in this video I'm going to be going over a high level overview of what user enrollment entails and then I'll be showing you the end user enrollment in the admin demo as well too to show you all the settings that you need to configure for this to actually work. So I mentioned in a previous video there, I went through the different enrollment methods for iOS and Mac devices there between BUIOD and company owned. And for BUIOD methods, I did mention there's a spectrum here from least to most restrictive in the sense of management capabilities you have from an admin standpoint. So app protection policies are your least restrictive because you don't have to enroll the device in the MDM solution with Intune does protect the corporate data at the application level from applications you define and prevents users from cut, copy, paste, or save as permissions to unmanaged locations, and it redirects them to a managed app if they're trying to access corporate data, such as their mail, if they're on the native Outlook app or native mail app on an iPhone, it's going to redirect them to the Outlook store or the Outlook app itself. Next here we have the company portal of which we can enroll a device. So a couple of different scenarios will come about when a user is redirected to the company portal. You can either direct them to go ahead and install that and sign into the company portal to enroll their device in an MDM solution. Or if you set up conditional access policies within Microsoft, it will automatically redirect them to the company portal to enroll their device into Intune if they want to access corporate data on that device. So there's a couple different ways you can have the workflow. In most cases, I find that it's better to communicate that ahead of time and just have the instructions readily available for them to download and, and sign into the company portal app. So up to this point in time, we've only had device enrollment, which you see here on the right hand side. And device enrollment was a full on MDM solution with the admin capabilities to push out policies for device compliance, for configuration profiles, to, to set password requirements, to set screen lockout times, and things of that nature. You could also push out applications. You could also wipe the device completely at any point in time and erase all data, bringing it back to a factory ready state. With user enrollment, Microsoft's really looking into a lot more investment with iOS and Mac devices in the sense of management capabilities and giving a little bit of a hybrid approach. So you can think of user enrollment like a lightweight enrollment method for a user to have their device enrolled in the company. So with user enrollment, you have the ability to separate out managed versus corporate data in the sense of the applications that are on that device. I sent a video about this as well too, but you can federate a Apple Business Manager account with Microsoft Azure Active Directory for management purposes. And when you do so, the federation would grant them a new managed Apple ID when they're trying to sign into an iCloud account, for instance, on their personal device and using their active Azure Active Directory credentials. The same is true, which you guys will see in our demo video, when they enroll the device into the uh, company portal app and they don't have a managed Apple ID yet, it does create them a managed Apple ID and there's two profiles then on the device. So one is their personal Apple ID and the other is their corporate Apple ID. So there's a clear separation of data. You're able to wipe that and remove that when the employee leaves. The other big pieces here that users really like is the fact that the capabilities for user enrollment uh, don't allow the administrator to wipe the device back to a factory ready state. They just allow them to wipe the corporate data on the applications. So that's kind of been a bigger pain point previously for some of the users who do want to access their corporate data, but don't want to give admins that kind of rights to their, their personal device itself. So when we look at the, the settings here as far as the functionality, you have still a lot of capabilities to set certain security controls. You have the ability to encrypt the data at rest and you have the ability to separate this data. And when you look at it, as far as this diagram goes, you have the data separation at the managed Apple ID level between the same applications. 
so that you can remove anything that's associated with the company at that level. But then with Intune and combining it with Intune, you do have the ability to push out the corporate level applications of which they can access as well too on the device. So you're getting kind of a best of both worlds. And when you think about the comparison as far as the restrictions and policies and profiles that you cannot push out, there's not a whole lot of uh, restriction there in the sense of what you would ultimately want to do. I'll link this guide below, um, but it basically just outlines the supported options for user enrollment. So it defines what you can and cannot do. But in moving through this, I don't really see a ton in here that would make me want to do a device enrollment over the user enrollment beyond the entire factory reset. So if it is a BYOD device, I want to give a little bit of leeway in that. But if it's corporate owned, I may just do device enrollment all day. That's fine. So for the steps here, which we'll go through together in a demo from the admin standpoint and look at it from the end user standpoint in enrollment, Apple Business Manager, like I mentioned earlier, you do want to set up that Azure AD Federation so that you can get that separation of data. For the Intune side of things, you want to have the MDM push certificate set up as a prerequisite. You want to create an enrollment profile, which we'll do today. And then the app protection policies, the managed applications, compliance policies, configuration profiles are something that isn't required. But if it is under your management and is acting, accessing corporate data, um, you do want to set up at least a, a compliance policy for those. And we'll, we'll go through those in another video. I just want to mostly show you the settings you'll need to configure for this. But lastly here, I want to just touch on the main benefits here. So with this setup, with user enrollment, you have the ability to federate with a managed Apple ID. They use your same credentials to log in and separate that data. You manage it within Apple Business Manager. You can push out different policies and configurations with Intune. You can enroll these devices. User enrollment is specifically only for iOS devices. I want to be clear with that. It's not for Mac OS devices, but it does give you that separation of data on the application level, and it does allow you to remove that data when the employee leaves or the device is lost or stolen. You can push out other third-party applications as well, too, from Intune down to the device. You can additionally set up VPP within Apple Business Manager to push out purchase applications in bulk to these devices as well too. And then lastly there, you can control the device lifecycle management in the sense of how long you're managing it. And even though it's BYOD, you're controlling all the applications and user access to corporate data, which is, is very pertinent in today's remote workforce. So before we get into the demo here, just want to touch on prerequisites. MDM push certificate I touched on. You need to have an Apple Business Manager account as well too for that federation uh, to stand up and have managed Apple IDs. It's free to have. You just have to register at the customer level and it does go through a verification process. It takes about five days, but you can call and usually get that uh, expedited as well. And lastly, you need to have iOS devices that are at least 13.1 or later as far as the OS goes. So now let's go ahead and get into the administrative demo and then get into the end user demo as well too. So I'm in a 365 tenant here with Microsoft 365 Business or Business Premium as it was recently renamed about a week ago. So just take note of that in the licensing that I do have within here. The one thing that you'll want to do to fully set this up here is if you go under the devices section you want to make sure if you go under iOS and iOS enrollment, you have this MDM per certificate set up. Otherwise, these options will be grayed out for you and you won't be able to do anything on there. So that's that's one thing that you want to set up. I have a video for that if you guys want to check that out if you're not familiar. Enrollment types. This is again in preview, so this might change in the UI perspective or some of the feature sets. But this is what we have available today, and this is what we're going to set up for the enrollment. I've already set one up to maximize you guys' time as far as the demo goes, but this is specifically, again, for iOS and iPad, not for Macs. So I'll just call it um, the user enrollment. iOS, and a couple of settings here I'll explain. Enrollment type here, you can define what type of enrollment they'll have available to them. 
if you say determine based on user choice, they'll be presented with a screen that says, do you own this device or does T minus, like the tenant name, own this device? And they'll be able to choose. In my opinion, if you want, just pick which one you're going to use for them for BYOD and, and choose it because you don't want to give them an option in that sense. So the least option is the better in the sense of human error and questions that could come to you over time. Next, oh, and I'll, I'll show you in the demo what that actually looks like from the option standpoint, but I would recommend you know having it selected for one or the other. Um, all users, you can scope this if you wanted to, for certain users maybe to have device enrollment only if they're corporate owned, and then maybe another subset of users doing the user enrollment. Lastly, you can, when you're done, you can click on review and create. I've already done this, again, like I said, for the purposes of the demo. So just wanted to show you that here. And this is after the fact. Um, and this is me showing you Apple Business Manager as well too, in the sense that there is uh, the ability here to see the domains. We've already federated the Azure Active Directory account. And when you go to the accounts here, after that user logs into the company portal and goes through the steps, their profile will, will show up here as well too. So we'll go ahead and we'll pause and we'll just show you what this looks like from the end user standpoint. Okay, so we're on the user's device here. We've already downloaded the company portal app from the iTunes store here. So we're just gonna go ahead and sign in. And when I click on sign in here, I'll, I'll select the account of which I wanna sign in with and it's going to go ahead and try to connect here. Now it's going through this little wizard for the access for the user enrollment and click on begin here. And this is where I was mentioning, it's asking us what type do we want to select? Is it T minus owns this device or I own it? And this is really where it's saying, hey, do you wanna do user enrollment or device enrollment in a, in a different manner that's more user friendly? From there, you can see what the admin can't and cannot do from the standpoint of administration. So it's very straightforward in speaking to them about what they are doing by enrolling their device. After I click on continue here, it's going to ask me to consent for the management profile to be downloaded. So it'll give us this push notification and then I can click on close for this. And now it's going to tell me to go install the management profile from the settings section in general, and then come back here when I've actually done that. So I'll move out and I'll move into the settings here and I'll go down under general to profile. You'll see that the management profile is here and I can go ahead and click on enroll my iPhone. When I do here, it's going to ask me to install a profile. And now it's going to try to authenticate. And this is where that federation comes into play. And it's, it connects to our organizational account and asks us for the managed Apple ID to authenticate with our Azure Active Directory credentials. And we'll get our two-factor here as well that we can approve. I can click on yes here for the sign-in. And that'll give us a success message. So now that's done, I can go back into the company portal app. And I can say yes, I enroll my device. And it'll ask me if I want to choose personal or corporate for the management type. And then it'll tell me if there's any conflicts with compliance in regards to any policies I've set up. So I've set up a policy that says I need a managed email profile on the device. And it gives them instructional content of which they can use to try to troubleshoot themselves before you would have to get involved. But this is in the sense of me pushing down a compliance policy. I just wanted you guys to see that as well too. When their device is not compliant from a policy you've pushed out, it does tell them why it's not compliant, it has them give them steps to uh, to change that. So a couple other settings here for push notifications. I also want to show you guys within the passwords and accounts, you'll see here now we have our two managed profiles or 
profiles, I should say. One of them is the managed Apple ID that we created here, and the other is my personal Apple ID. So there's that clear separation going on already on the device. And then here, I also wanted to show from the unenroll standpoint, going back into the company portal app under the device tab, clicking on the three little dots at the top of the page next to the rename button that you see there. And I can click on remove device and it'll give me a warning about the ability to see co corporate data and getting access removed from email and things like that. So once the device is removed, I can then clarify or verify back in the passwords and accounts that managed Apple ID is gone. So there's a couple of different things with that. Back within the portal here in Apple Business Manager, you'll notice under your users, the user that authenticated for the managed Apple ID is now added in the Apple Business Manager portal and it's federated by Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So you have everything set up there from the enrollment standpoint and you can begin now to manage both this user and their device within the Intune portal and Apple Business Manager. That's everything I wanted to show you guys in this video. Please leave any comments or questions below. Like or subscribe if you'd like to see more content around Intune and Microsoft 365. Thanks guys and have a great day.